morning, morning everybody. Let's see if I can put another light on. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> uh, which one's best? That one maybe. Oh, good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. It's very early in the morning. It's about half past six. Yeah. Half past six in the morning. Welcome to my vlogs. And if you've been following the vlogs, you know that I've not been very well. Stinking cold. If you're new to the vlogs, just look at me. Do I look like I'm feeling healthy? Oh, my nose is really blocked. I don't feel brilliant, it has to be said. Still, never mind. It should be... I've got a quietish day at work today because a couple of the lessons I would be teaching the students are in exams. I've got my Lemsip. I've got my coffee. I've got a bowl of porridge. Porridge is... Um, the instant sort of stuff that you get in the sachets that you put the milk in. It's probably just the same as not having it in sachets. It's just, it's all weighed out and prepped for you. Um, but what I always do is I pour the powder, um, I pour the porridge out, out of the sachet into the bowl. And then I add cinnamon to that and some pumpkin seeds, stir that up. Then I add in the milk, stir it up, and then I put it in the microwave. And then... Also, quite often, um, sometimes I'll put fruit on it, but quite often I'll put either a teaspoon of peanut butter or a teaspoon of chocolate spread in, stirred in after it's cooked. And this morning we have got chocolate spread because I thought that might cheer me up as soon as I'm feeling ugh, so full of cold. Didn't sleep very well because I'm quite full of cold and then the dog stew, loving to bits, but not last night. <sighs> he barked and woke us up quite regularly. I came down to him twice. I think my husband came down to him twice. Don't know what was wrong with him. He'd been really, really quiet all day yesterday, but that might have been the thing. He might have just done nothing all day, been so lazy, which then meant he was wide awake at night. I don't know. Anyway, oh. so what did I do last night? I watched the uh, Strictly results. No spoilers, but I'm going to say I think it was the right result from the two people who uh, were um, shortlisted. No, that's not the right word. The two people who were in the, the bottom two, I think the right person went. Um, I carried on with that sock. So I got the heel flap done as well. Um, I just kept pushing through on that thinking. Really want to get that sock finished. And so all the time I'm enjoying knitting it. Let's just keep working on that. So got the heel flap done on that and then I decided to work on another one of these flowers. This is the first one that I did the other night. So I was working on that. I didn't get it finished. It's in this state still. <laughs> but that was the second thing that I worked on. So yeah, when I completed the heel flap on the sock, not sure what time it was, maybe about 10-ish. Didn't want to start working on the gusset part of it. So yeah, just thought, Oh, and I've also been working on, I keep referring to the teddy bear dress, which is the dress that's going to be for my great niece for Christmas, which is just a plain pinafore dress, then that I'm going to embroider a teddy bear face on. So I've already done that much, <laughs> which is the front of the skirt, no, the back of the skirt, and I've done that much of the front of the skirt. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm doing this pinafore dress, but I'm not doing the frills on it. I will do the pockets, but instead I'm going to embroider a teddy bear face. Um, so I've been working on this because it's just plain stocking stitch with just some decreases for the skirt. So I've been working on that like when I've been editing the vlog um, and I need something that's just real plain to knit. Um, usually I could work, maybe work on socks, but obviously the socks that I've got on the go at the moment are complicated. So I've just been working on that. Um, yarn is all drying quite nicely. Well, yeah, it's drying fine. So um, frosted berries, last lot of that goes into the shop tonight. And I've got my gradient drying as well. I had a quick look at the sparkle base on the, of the gradient again this morning. Um, it's so pretty. So I'm really pleased with that. And... Yeah, I've just got to get through today. I am not going to 
come home late today. I suspect I shall leave school fairly quickly after the end of the day. Just to make sure I've got done what I need to do for tomorrow and get away. <sighs> right. <laughs> Look at the state of me. This is not flattering, is it? Oh. Anyway, thank you for everybody's watching. Thank you. Keep um, commenting as well, those of you that do. That's so lovely. And I will see you later when I hope I'm feeling better. <laughs> Bye for now. Good evening everybody, it's quite late now, it's quarter to nine and I am sort of settled down for the evening. Obviously I've been at work today, the cold I think is beginning to feel better. Um, I was struggling a bit during the day but I did have a relatively easy day, there wasn't much in the way of teaching as such. Um, but I was just quite breathless, So, but I think it's beginning to ease a bit. I've been taking a lot of, drinking a lot of lemon sip. Um, if I don't know if you have lem sip in other countries, lem sip is a um, a medicated drink. It's a hot, well, it's a sachet with decongestant, which I probably need to take again. Uh, decongestant and paracetamol, and it's a powder, and you pour hot water into it. So and it's lemon flavored, and. Um, Yes, yeah, so it's supposed to help easy sore throat and clear your nose and just make you feel better when you've got a cold. Um, so yeah, been all, been taking that today. Um, went to the dentist, so that was just like a hygienist appointment. So I had a good scraping clean of my teeth, which wasn't too bad actually. wasn't too bad. Um, and then I am now booked in to have this tooth out later in the week. So my plan is, because I don't think I'm going to want to record and talk when I have the uh, my tooth out. So, you know, at the weekend, I went up to Nibbles, Needles and Hooks and interviewed Liz and had a chat with her. I'm going to show that on the day or over the two days when I have my tooth out. So um, you won't get a daily vlog from me on those days, I don't think, because I don't think I'll be up to it. <laughs> you might just get me say, saying hello and that's about it. Um, while I was at the dentist, though, I took with me the little crochet flowers and I finished off the second flower. So I now have two flowers. I still haven't, weighed, I couldn't find my scales actually to weigh them. They are quite heavy, so I now have two flowers. Um, and I started the third one. So that's all I'm going to use this for is just make flowers and then post those off. I might keep one for myself and then post the rest of them off to the Future Dreams flower installation that they're doing with West Yorkshire Spinners. So did that, yeah, so finished off that second flower, started the third one at the dentist while waiting. And then I've come home, had some tea, um, put the last of the frosted berries onto Etsy and thank you very much because they sold out as well so that's just been amazing so um they are the yarn that i dyed yesterday is pretty much dry but it'll, i will pack them up tomorrow evening i just don't want to risk skeining them up or winding twisting the skeins if they're still a tiny bit damp so i like to make sure they are completely dry so it will be tomorrow evening i will wind those skeins um and pack them and they will go out in the post on Wednesday morning so thank you very 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 much for your support that's just been amazing and I really appreciate it so those will be doing tomorrow what I have done this evening though is I restarted the heavy shawl which is the test knit I'm doing for Woolly Badger so I said yesterday there was a mistake I hadn't got very far anyway so I ripped it out and restarted and now here we go you can see we've got a cable panel here um, I've got stitch markers here for my increases and the yarn that I am using is this wool mice or wool mice and uh, this is going to sound really weird but when I first started using Ravelry back in 2007-2008 um, I had it in my head that wool mice was like this really 
I think it was a really popular yarn and it was actually quite difficult to get hold of. And nowadays I don't see anything about wool mice, so I'm not quite sure. I'm sure there was a lot of hype about it. I have got some lace weight uh, wool mice in a very similar colour to this. Um, black currant, I think it's called, in my stash. This one I think I picked up in a D stash somewhere. Um, and it has potentially, the name of it could be this, Magnoli. Not sure. But anyway, it's 100% merino superwash. It's a 150 gram skein. So it's quite a big chunky one. Um, so yes, so I have started the shawl. Might carry on with that for a little bit. I think I showed you this morning that I had, I don't know if I showed you, but I know I told you this morning that I had done the heel flap on the gray sock, the beaded sock. I told you that, did I show you? If I didn't show you this this morning, I'm showing it to you now. If I did show it to you, I shall edit this out so you won't see it anyway. So, yeah, that's the heel flap. Isn't it so pretty? So that's the heel flap done on the beaded sock. And you know what? I feel like I need more beads in my life. I need to put beads on more things. So the gradient that I dyed yesterday for the um hibernates steve must hibernates there is part of me thinking hmm, i wonder if i could put beads on that shawl <laughs> so watch this space <coughs> um right so it is 10 to 9 i am going to go to bed not long after i've finished putting this vlog up i don't i think so i get an early night uh, so i've got school again tomorrow but i am feeling better so i'm gonna have a warm drink Maybe another lemon sip, maybe just some hot fruit tea of some sort, maybe both actually. Um, nice warm drink and get myself to bed. And that's it really for today, I think. So I've just put my tripod and everything away and then I suddenly remembered something else to tell you. I've got a yarn confession. So last night I got an email from Serdar I really ought to unsubscribe from some of these emails. I got an email from Serda and it said their Black Friday deal was buy one ball of yarn, get two free. Yes, you heard that right. Let's say that again. Buy one ball of yarn, get two free. Well, I thought it'd be rude not to, yeah? You're with me, aren't you? But have a little looky. I've got 15 balls of wool coming this week. But hey, I only paid for five of them. That's a good deal. So that'll be coming later this week. So I shall tell you more about it then. One's a chunky or one's a DK. Because I'm loving chunky at the moment. Really loving knitting with chunky. Um, so yes, I shall show you that when it arrives later this week. Do you want to take a guess what colour they both were as well? Take a guess. Leave a comment below. What colour do you think the 15 balls are? They're not the same. Uh, I think six balls of one nine of the other but they are both from the same color family if you'd like to take a guess at what possible color those of you that have been following me for a while leave a comment down below and we'll see if you're right you probably will be all right i am going to leave it there though thanks guys all right thank you everybody thanks so much see you tomorrow